Good evening. We're back with more Marvel Champions. And this evening will be Shadow Cat versus Mansion Attack on Expert Difficulty. So we need to do some setup for this one. We need Nimrod. We need Nimrod's Patrol, Machinations, no Jubilee, but we do get three allies. Added to the deck, that would be Boom Boom, Cannonball, and Wolfsbane. Wolfsbane in particular can be very useful. We need one random roll upgrade. That is number one. So Defender, Defender number one is Swagger. And that's it. Then we need surprise attack side scheme. I really like the design of this campaign with there being a extra side scheme each round but with mild challenge and providing a benefit when it's defeated. I think that's very good design. So, in addition to that setup, we also need the bosses shuffled. There we go. Here's the boss deck. Put that over there. And then we need phase twos shuffled as well. And they get stacked underneath. So we'll put those over there. So we need to defeat three villains for the expert difficulty. And we use the top card of the villain deck to start out. I don't know why it's not flipping over. There we go. Pyro, toughness, victory two. After Pyro attacks you, discard the top two cards of your deck. Take one indirect damage for each printed resource icon discarded this way. Oof, and that happens after he attacks, so you can't do anything about that with phased form with Shadow Cat, and it happens whether he does damage or not. That's tough. But his attacks deal zero damage. That will specifically get around Shadow Cat, actually. Interesting. Okay, well, let's get started. Deal each player a face-down encounter card. Advance to the next card in the main scheme deck. So here's our encounter card, and it goes to the victory display. And we got attack on Xavier's the atrium. Each character gains steady. When completed, add this scheme to the victory display. Advance to the next main scheme. If there are three main schemes in the victory display, the players lose the game. There's already one, so two more. Okay. Let's draw and we'll get started. Should I keep Daredevil? I think so. This hand seems fine. Um, I don't think I. I do think I will flip to phased here immediately, and then I'll flip to hero form, and we'll get out energy barrier, and we'll get out Daredevil. And we'll use Daredevil and Shadow Cat to take care of the surprise attack. Top card of the future past deck. There's two cards remaining. Choose one randomly. Number one, Bastion. 
flip this card, put reactivate defenses into their play area. Alter Ego action. Spend resources, deal 5 damage to each enemy in play, remove this card from the game. Interesting. Okay. So we'll just draw 3. I put those over there. Just draw 3. I drew all my allies. Wait, I think I forgot to shuffle the deck, didn't I? Let's do that, and I'll have to replay my turn. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what do we do with these guys? Well, we go ahead and we We're going to have to attack with Shadow Cat. We'll attack with Shadow Cat, remove the toughness, flip to phased, go energy for Lockheed, and remove two threat with him, and then we'll remove one threat with a thwart, so. We end up in the right place. And then, actually I think before I do that I'm going to want to play Kitty's Room before I flip to Alter Ego. But I won't be able to do anything with it, so yeah, everything else is the same. Then we'll draw three. Ready up, so. One threat, one attack from Pyro, and we'll use Quick Shift, put Shadow Cat into defensive mode, draw two cards, the boost card, so we take no damage, but then after I have to discard the top two cards of my deck. That's three damage. Indirect. That hurts. Pyro is not easy. We got one, two encounter cards coming. Master plan. Protect the students. And the second one is assault. The villain attacks you. Should be on solid form, so when he attacks, we'll go one and two for powerful punch. Deal four damage. Flip to phased. So the boost card is. I'm gonna put these back in the deck down below so that the dealt cards will go to the right place. It'll be easier. So anyway, the boost, discard one random card from your hand. No, not Shadow Cat Surprise. And then we have to discard two, take two indirect damage. Phased and Confused would be good. Because we need to prevent those attacks or use Energy Barrier. Let's see, for the hero phase, let's thwart for two. No, we're going to have to damage so we can flip to phase mode. Let's damage. And we'll go energy barrier. Flip to phased. Draw five. So one threat, one attack from Pyro, Look, quick shift, draw two, so we're in defense mode now. If the villain is Pyro, give him an additional boost card. Okay, no problem, no damage. 
Then we need to discard two. That's two damage, so one, two. One, two. One encounter card. Imrod. Imrod cannot take more than three damage each phase. Yikes, he's going to be tough. That's not good. So let's go thwart for two. We go intangible and solid for Shadow Cat Surprise. Go one, two, three damage. Ready up, Shadow Cat. Get rid of Protect the Students. Search the deck and discard pile for an ally. Uh, we'll grab Boom Boom, I think. And we can go Jump Flip for Unflappable. I think I need to keep Powerful Punch, so I'm actually going to discard Boom Boom here for Hard to Ignore. And then we'll go ahead and draw four. So one threat, one attack from Pyro, and we'll Powerful Punch. One, two, three, four damage. Flip to Phased. If the villain is Toad, it's not, so no damage there. And then we have two discards for two damage. That's one, two. That'll be one damage from the energy barrier, one hard to ignore, one unflappable, and an attack from three from Toad. That will go on Lockheed. Rip Toad. And we're on to the hero phase. Let's use power on all of us to get out Wolf's Bane. So we should be on solid. I think we're going to have to flip to Alter Ego, so let's go thwart. Or did I want to get rid of Pyro? No, let's do it this way. We'll flip to Alter Ego. We'll use Kitty's Room to heal for two. I think that's the first time in this campaign I've had to heal. Because of that indirect damage from Pyro. One scheme for three. Nimrod schemes for two. One encounter card. Protect the students. Okay, so we barely survived with this atrium uncompleted. But we did survive. Let's heal for two. Flip. Um, we'll go. Let's see, what do I want to do? Let's attack. And take out Pyro. So that, after the villain is defeated, if there are X villains there aren't, otherwise deal each player an encounter card and reveal the next villain. So the next villain up is... Avalanche and one encounter card. Actually, we want Pyro over here so he doesn't get the encounter cards. He has toughness, he has after Avalanche attacks you exhaust an ally you control. Okay. So let's go one and Two for Shadow Cat Surprise. Deal three. Ready up, Shadow Cat. Flip to Phased. We'll use Wolf's Bane to get rid of the toughness and deal two damage. We'll use Shadow Cat. And while she's phased, we could ignore this Crisis icon. While she's phased, we can also Air Walk. Remove four. So we can get rid of protect the students. 
and go find Lockheed. And we can play Lockheed. Remove two threat while we're phased. Deal one damage. And draw five. Pretty strong turn, I would say. So one threat, Avalanche is going to attack. Um, I'll use Electrostatic Armor, I think, for Never Back Down to engage the defense. And I have to exhaust an ally I control after he attacks, but no damage and he gets a stun. And then we get to hard to ignore and unflappable. And then we got two encounter card. Well, Nimrod's going to attack. Put that attack on Wolfsbane, I think. And then we got two encounter cards coming. We got Brotherhood beat down. For each of the following enemies in play, Avalanche, exhaust your identity. Okay. Should be on solid as well. And then we got Pyro, a minion version of Pyro. After Pyro attacks, you discard the top two, same as his hero phase. So he just has four health. I don't think I have a way to deal with him though. We can go Power of Protection for Energy Barrier. But I don't have a way to get to uh, phased form here. I'm going to discard both of these and draw five. I actually wonder if this is the time to use reactivate defenses. It's risky with the scheme for two. If he gets a boost card of three, he'll complete the atrium. But I can do five damage to each of these and heal for a bit. I think I like that. Let's flip. Let's go reactivate defenses. Five damage to each enemy in play. There goes Pyro. There goes Nimrod to the victory display. And then we can Kitty's room. Heal for two. And then draw five. So one threat, one scheme. Okay, just for one, but the villain is Avalanche, so he gets another boost. Okay, so it does complete the atrium. That's gonna go to the victory display. That's scheme number two. So we reveal the next one. And it's going to be the cafeteria. Each character gains retaliate one. Okay, that's helpful. Very helpful. And then we got one encounter card coming, which is almost superior. There are no minions out, so that's a surge. Assault, the villain attacks. No, that's a surge because we're an alter ego. Caught off guard. Uh, okay, we'll discard Kitty's room, which I don't think I'll need anymore. Could be swagger as well. Probably swagger. I don't think I really need that. So we're onto the hero phase. What do I want to do here? Phased Strike, I think. That's how we'll flip to Solid. So let's flip. Let's go Solid plus Stamina for Phased Strike. Deal 6 damage. And then... We can use Shadow Cat to defeat Avalanche. Let's fill in number 2.
who needs to go to the villain pile and then next boss is blob one encounter card and do I want to phased and confused him after blob attacks and damages a character stun that character well he's never going to attack and damage shadow cat so I don't think we need phased and confused we can go those two for energy barrier And then we'll draw four. So one threat. Uh, we should have flipped to phased after the shadow cat attack. And then one attack, which will be, how do we engage the defense here? Jump flip is gonna be it, I think. So when we would take damage, we jump flip instead using defensive energy so that we draw a card and can remove two threat from the main scheme. And we got two encounter cards incoming. We can also unflappable. Now it's going to be three encounter cards. Nimrod's Patrol. Pyromaniac. Pyro activates against two. If he's not in play, search the encounter deck and discard pile for the minion. We know he's in the discard pile. And reveal him. And immovable. Blob activates against you. Okay. Blob is going to attack. Should be in solid form now. So when Blob attacks, we'll just go ahead and Defiance. And his damage will be reflected back at Pyro. For the hero phase, let's use Shadow Cat to take out Pyro. And after you attack, So, do I want to do it in that order? I think what we'll do is we'll go... No, I can't do anything else. So yeah, I do. We'll take you Shadow Cat to take out Pyro. We'll flip to Phased. We'll go Unflappable for Airwalk. Get rid of Nimrod's Patrol. which means some indirect damage. One, two, three, four, five indirect damage. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, take out the toughness. And then I think that's all. We'll just draw three. So one threat, one attack from Blob, we'll use Quick Shift, put us in defensive mode, so no damage, and we'll Unflappable, and we'll Hard to Ignore, and one encounter card, which will be Mutant Terrorists, search for the Brotherhood side scheme. That's a tough side scheme. Okay, so we're on to the player phase, the hero phase. Should be on solid. Could get out Avengers Mansion or Energy Barrier or just phase shift. I could go six, seven, eight, nine damage. Plus energy barriers. I think I like that. Let's go solid plus genius for phased strike. One, two, three, four, five, six go two damage, we'll go one, two, we'll flip two phase, we'll go energy barrier, and then we'll draw three. So one threat, one attack, and we'll use 
quick shift to activate defensive mode. No damage, unflappable, hard to ignore. And we got two encounter cards coming. Under siege, three threat for each brotherhood of mutants character in play. Under fire, two more encounter cards. Bastion, Groundswell, Avalanche activates you, or we need to go look for the Avalanche minion. Here's Avalanche. Okay, well, no guards here, right? No. Well, I've completely been forgetting about the retaliate damage. Oh well. And each of these, and the Brotherhood mutant gets quick strike thanks to the Brotherhood. So that's going to be three damage. That'll be the energy barrier. And I have to exhaust the character I control or reflect that damage back at Blob. And I think I can just finish him off here. Bastion's not a Brotherhood mutant. Passion is not a member of Brotherhood of Mutants. So let's go. Should be in solid phase. Let's go two damage and we'll just go Shadow Cat Surprise for three damage to finish off our third boss. So the three bosses were Avalanche, Blob, and Pyro. And that will be a victory. So, if surprise attack was defeated, it was. Need to record each Days of Future Past card. The only one left is Nano Sentinel Tech. Bastion's Machinations, Bastion. Bastion was the one we added here. Move each roll upgrade, and Jubilee is not in play. Surprise attack was defeated. So, that is the first four scenarios. We'll be on to Magneto. Never played Magneto before, but I know his reputation is that he's very difficult. But Shadow Cat has been doing very well. The Shadow Cat deck has just been flat dominating. There's definitely a rhythm to her once you get established. She's very, very strong. I like this hero a lot. Probably second most powerful hero in the game behind Spider Ham. With third being Ghost Spider and fourth being Doctor Strange and or Protection Iron Man for solo play. The rankings are different for multiplayer of course and this is taking into account the recent nerf to Cosmo which hit Doctor Strange. But Doctor Strange and Iron Man, the, the top three heroes for me in solo play are all very strong defenders. Shadowcat, Ghost Spider, Incredible Defenders. Spider-Ham, not a good defender, but he does ramp up super hard when he takes damage. So he's good. And Doctor Strange, he is inconsistent with his defense. Because he only has the two defense. He has Winds of Watum for resource generation which is good but you can't rely on it because it's only one card in his six card invocation deck. He has the confuse and the stun which are good but there's a prevalence of bosses with toughness or stall or with steady or stalwart and so if you can't rely on stunning or confusing them then Doctor Strange's defense gets weaker. He also has the toughness invocation card that places three toughness cards but 
in solo, you're not always able to get out three toughnesses and make full use of that card. It's more common that you can do it in multiplayer, and so Doctor Strange is stronger in multiplayer than he is in solo. He's still good in solo, he's just not in the top three. My top three are all exceptional defenders or exceptional and reliable resource generators. And I don't actually think Doctor Strange is even as good as Protection Iron Man. Though it depends on the scenario. It heavily depends on the scenario because Iron Man's not good in any scenario where you can't afford to take one turn in alter ego form. But anyway, that's very off topic. So next up will be Magneto and thank you for watching.